70% of Americans are overweight or obese. For Israelis, that number is about 40%. In fact, most of the industrialized world sports numbers between those, which is why a global fitness industry worth about $100 billion is up and running. One little snag, it fails in many cases. A lot of people want to lose weight. They're trying a lot of uh, diets, and really they don't know what is the reason why they are failing. Uh, people are uh, putting a lot of money, trying a lot of things, and also they're uh, emotional eaters, and they don't know what's the reason. That's where a new field of science called nutrigenetic comes in. The idea is nutrition is more complicated than simply calories in versus calories out. In fact, the idea is your specific genetics determines how your body absorbs the sort of foods you see on the table here because it's different for everyone. So if digestion is genetic, that means what you eat can be optimized. Basically what we are doing here is a genetic test, a DNA test, uh, test the genetic variants in a human body, and based on the results of the genetic test, we can tell a, a, a client, a person, an individual, exactly which kind of food he will is able to eat. Israeli company MyGenes does exactly that. It gene sequences its clients to tell you exactly what will react with you and how. Here we have a full department of uh, a clinic uh, nutritionist, uh, which will explain the client the full report, uh, his genetic report. Uh, they will go through all the 425 genetic variants that was tested. Uh, in his body. I got a whole list of foods I shouldn't eat, for example, rice or white bread, because I have a problem with sugar. So, for example, watermelon here I shouldn't eat because I can't digest the sugar well, according to my genetics. And it's not just what to eat, but also how or even when. Certain combinations which interact with the human body at different times of day even, and things that seem counterintuitive might just work, depending on the person. But if I take this crap for instance, and it has sugar in it, but if I eat it with fatty cheese, or the fat in the shawarma here, or any other fatty food, neutralizes the sugar when eaten together, at least for my body. Sounds complicated, but clinical tests of nutrigenetic diets have an 86% success rate. Look at me. I dropped 57 pounds. Today I weighed 163 pounds. So a modern twist on a decades-old quest for fitness? It may not be to everyone's taste, but it could be just what the doctor ordered.